The Boy in the Volcano. This story starts off with appears to be Zuko looking at this weird type of like pigeon rabbit. It appears someone behind him actually scares it off and it does look like Azula. Here on the next page we get confirmation that it is Azula and of course Zuko's mad. He's like you just scared off our dinner and he points out that the rabbit could be heading towards the volcano. It seems for some reason that Zuko is scared of that volcano. I have no idea why. Azula says, I'll show you how it's done, and you can see them heading towards the volcano. Now that they're on the volcano, Zuko's like, hold up, I don't like this. We're forbidden to come here. This could blow up at any moment. And then what happens? Zuko says, Azula, watch out, and it appears Azula is in a cloud of smoke. Turns out, Azula's fine. She survived this encounter with the volcano. She's not Avatar Roku. Now here on the next page, it seems like Zuko has gone missing, Azula is like looking everywhere for him. And then we find out that the volcano is actually cracking, like it's gonna explode soon. And then we see Zuko hanging off the cliff just barely by his fingers, he doesn't even have his palm on the thing he's holding onto, just his fingers. Azula sees him, pulls him back up, but the volcano is still cracking. They're still in trouble. Zuko even says, this is a volcano and you're a firebender. What I'm getting here is I don't think Zuko is a firebender in this timeline. Cause I found it weird he was hunting with his swords even though he's a firebender. And this pretty much confirms it. And then the volcano erupts. Zuko's like, come on, let's get out of here. And Azula agrees until she looks at the explosion and you can see it in her eyes that she sees something very important and it's like glowing on her. She actually sees Aang in this volcano. I don't really know how this works, how you can be kind of like frozen in ice in a volcano because this looks like ice. I don't know if, if lava can crystallize like this. Wouldn't it be obsidian? But obsidian isn't really see-through. So I'm not really sure what Aang's in is the point I'm trying to get at, but it doesn't matter. It's a fan comic, let's just enjoy it for what it is. Now, Zuko's against freeing him. He's like, yo, I think we should get out of here. But Azula is having none of that. She's like, you might want to stand back a bit. I'm obviously gonna try to get him. And she shoots a fire blast at the volcano. This is a interesting choice if I do say so myself because it's only making the volcano explode more. Just like when Katara freed Aang, we see a beam of light shoot into the air. Here on the next page, we see Sokka and Grand Grand see the light, and he's like, the Avatar. And if you just look at Sokka here, he has one eye, he's in his battle suit, and it's just, he looks evil, he looks evil. Which I'm assuming the Water Nation is evil in this, or should I say Water Tribe. Here we see Aang actually come out of the volcano in his Avatar state, and Azula and Zuko are just looking at him. Zuko's ready, he has his sword out, he's like, he thinks they're gonna fight. And Aang faints. Azula's just looking at Aang here. Aang opened his eyes, he sees Azula, and he instantly goes and attacks her. Now, I don't know if this Aang is like some isekai Aang from the regular timeline, or if this is just how the events are supposed to unfold in this timeline, but I'm here for it, it's interesting. Now, we almost see Aang with like this Rasengan in his hand, and he's about to attack Azula with it, and you hear Zuko scream stop. He's like, whoever you are, don't even think about touching my sister. And this makes Aang realize that these people probably aren't too bad and he stops. He apologizes and he was like, I thought you guys were somebody else. So this basically does confirm this is some kind of like isekai Aang from the real timeline. Now Aang is thinking in his head why he's here and he's hoping it's a dream. But I find this really funny. You can hear in the background Azula and Zuko speaking. And Zuko's like, he might have signaled the water navy. That is so weird to hear because I'm so used to hearing the fire navy, the fire nation. So hearing that the water guys are bad, it's just... It doesn't sit right with me. But that's the end of the video, everybody. Um, I have a question for you guys. I kind of want to cover um, the Avatar comics after uh, the show. So if you guys want to see that, just tell me in the comment section below. Uh, but other than that, if you like the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.